molecules. They're programming the computers for a chain reaction to blow up that atomic pile. I've got to stop it. Huh, just the thing. Used to be pretty good at tossing javelins. Here you go. Now, the control panel. Too late, the chain reaction's begun. Only seconds to go. Got to intercept it. Maybe I can cut out these transistors. Reactions past transistor phase. Dr. Wells' laboratory is just ahead, Wonder Woman. I guess we passed the security test. No problem, Doctor. But do you mind telling us what was so urgent that we had to get down here in the middle of the night? Nice try, Wells, but your plan will never work. With my subatomic strength, I'll rip open this elevator as if it were tinfoil. Wonder Woman, look! It's Washington crossing the Delaware. Don't worry, Wonder Woman. I'll handle everything. All right, friend. It's time we got this little sh Reconfigure for the automata limit, Katie. I know he's down here somewhere. Could be pretty small by now. And he just found me. He's bigger than my car now, Katie. Personally, I blame you. How can it possibly be my fault? Because otherwise it would be my fault. That can't be right. I'm a professor. I have the core control and I can see the problem. The chemical wash made a bad nanochip. I can shut him down by... Okay, I'm just gonna be direct. I'm going to lay here for a while, Katie. As the atom, I can shrink to the size of a subatomic particle and ride electrons along the phone wires. A physicist. And this goes beyond medicine. Batman's cells are mutating. Before long, they'll overwhelm his central nervous system, causing a loss of motor control, then paralysis, and finally, the human lung. Mother Nature is truly our greatest architect. Look, dendritic cells, alveoli, about 15 microns. Small enough to slip between Batman's cells without damage. You're a little shorter than I remember, Batman. Welcome to Morlade. These are the Catarthans. I discovered them one day when I was looking for rare flora. Their spacecraft crash-landed long ago, and they've been marooned here ever since. This is Duragis, Chancellor to the Catarthan royal family. Duragis is understandably protective of his people. I've been trying to help them survive in this hostile jungle. You've seen how tough that can be. My dear, may I introduce Batman of Gotham City. Batman, this is the more than sure, Hawkman. After so long playing superhero as the Atom, a South American research project as Ray Palmer will feel like a vacation. This is the Atom on the Justice League emergency transponder. I don't know if anyone can hear me, or if this thing is as broken as my size-changing belt, which seems to have me stuck at six inches high. I've crashed near a river. I'm going to follow it. It'll be slow going, but hopefully not too difficult. Boy, am I glad to see you guys. And surprised as heck that you're my size. But this is great. Maybe you can... Hopefully, we'll change all that. The kryptonite's set. There's just enough to weaken you, so that my white dwarf tech can take effect. At least, in theory. Systems up. Kryptonite assimilated. Initiating white dwarf transfer. Cellular absorption at 60%. 90%. How do you feel? Excited. Be sure you bring back all the tissue samples I requested. If we're gonna return Kandor back to normal, we have to test its molecular stability. Remember, Brainiac's armor made him impervious to harm. From the outside, at least. He'll survive this minor brain surgery. He just won't be able to control his skull ship anymore. Crisis averted, I can get back to searching for my missing mentor, Professor Ray Palmer. Last year, Palmer dove headfirst into the microverse, a subatomic dimension he himself discovered. In case he got lost. The Atom has arrived! Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> he thought the movie was about him! Halt! For the mighty Atom! Dr. Ray Palmer, here to save the world with science. Whoa, how did I get here? Did someone just change time again?